As of right now, the Ohio County Sheriff's Office has charged a 16-year-old juvenile with the murder of 53-year-old Robert Blaise Rice. At about 4.30 p.m. on 14 of 2012, our office began investigating a report of a missing 14-year-old juvenile in the Fordsville area. After locating that juvenile, we received information that a fight allegedly occurred between Mr. Rice and a 16-year-old juvenile during the early morning hours of April 10. That fight reportedly happened in a remote area of Miles Cemetery Road in Fordsville. We searched that area and located the victim's pickup truck where we found Mr. Rice's body. It was determined the 16-year-old juvenile offender stole property from the victim after the altercation and attempted to hide the victim's body in a large toolbox in the victim's truck. As a result of the investigation, we charged the 16-year-old juvenile with the following, one count of murder, one count of robbery first degree, one count of tampering with physical evidence. Uh, the juvenile is scheduled to be arraigned in juvenile court this afternoon sometime and will be transported to the Warren County Regional Detention Center. Um, the Fordsville Police Department has been this is obviously uh, an ongoing investigation. I can't release those details at this time. I'm going to prepare that statement, and that's really all I can say about it at this time. Originally, I believe um, it had been said that he died of blunt force trauma. Is that still the belief at this point? Well, obviously, we don't know what caused his death. The coroner at this time is in Louisville. They're doing an autopsy along with our detectives. As soon as they find out what the cause of death was, I'm sure the coroner will be releasing that information. And there was evidence at the scene, though, that uh, there was some law force trauma. Is it believed the altercation happened in that location, or he was taken to that location later? Uh, we believe the altercation happened there at that location. All right, is, do you guys have any other persons of interest, or is that the main person? Well, again, this is an ongoing okay. investigation, and, and right now we've charged one juvenile. Uh, the investigation will continue, so I'm going to process it. Well, at one point or another, there were two suspects, or two persons of interest. Is the other juvenile still a person of interest at this point? No, no, he's not a person of interest. Okay. I wouldn't have Um, I guess the question I have is, is uh, and you don't have to go that far, but uh, I, we, we realize that these are juveniles, that their names are withheld, but if I'm not mistaken, and I cannot remember it off the top of my head, there is a certain class of felony that kind of opens that up. Well, and that has to be determined to the court system. Right now, okay. he's being uh, charged in juvenile court. Okay. Once he's arraigned and the paperwork's done, and then this is maybe uh, sent to the grand jury or sent to the circuit court, well, then all the rules change. Okay. When it concerns the juvenile offender. Can we, can we say it's a male? Can we say the sex or no? Yes. It's okay. Male. Okay. That's all I got. Okay. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.